Hello, my name is Shaiju and welcome to the first episode of Mentorship Matters. With this episode, I want to share why mentorship. If you study the different prophets in the Bible, you will notice that their styles are, were not all the same. Each had a very unique style of ministry, kinds of ministry. The way Samuel led Israel was not the way Isaiah led Israel. And the way Isaiah led Israel was not the way uh, Ezekiel or Jeremiah or Elijah led Israel. But there are two people that have had very similar kind of prophetic ministry, and that is Elijah and Elisha. It has amazed me that even though prophet Samuel was anointed by God, his ministry did not look like Elijah. Elijah, even though he was anointed as a prophet, you see him doing things that prophet Samuel did not do. Samuel, however, did not have somebody that would carry on his mantle. Then you see that his sons did not follow his ways. But if you study Elijah, somehow God gave him the grace to raise up a successor, Elisha, who had the privilege of carrying his mantle. Now at the release of his mantle, Elijah decides to part ways and says goodbye to him. Yet Elisha, for whatever reasons, decided not to pursue his ministry and instead begins to serve the major prophet. In the season of his pursuit, he watches his spiritual father. He sees, he observes, he studies him. He begins to follow where he lives. He begins to understand how he begins to observe what he wears. He begins to see how he conducts himself. And you notice that Elisha's ministry was just like prophet Elijah. And that is a critical key for us to understand because centuries later, you will see John the Baptist that had the grace of prophet Elijah. The Bible says that he came in the spirit of Elijah, yet he did not do the miracle signs and wonders the way Elijah did. So you could carry a mantle that is able to produce a certain level of results, yet you do not tap into that because you were not mentored by that individual and taught you how you can apply that grace onto your life. So to repeat myself, you can carry the grace of a man of God and yet not know how to apply that grace. And that's why even in the world you have signs and then you have applied signs. And that is why you will see Apostle Paul writing to Timothy and saying, stir up the gifts that was given to you by my laying of hands. In other words, he's saying that I am observing something from you, that you are not functioning the way you're supposed to function. And he's saying that remember that the grace is already in you. Now I'm teaching you how to function in it. And in order for you to function it, you need to learn to stir it up. That means there are some gifts that are inside you that will always remain inside you and will become history if there is not somebody that can teach you how to stir it up. That is, in essence, mentorship. Now everybody would like to have their own encounter with a fiery bush. Everybody would like to have their own encounter um, to the third heavens, but not everybody is carried to the third heavens. But probably God will give you somebody that has gone to third heavens. The fastest route to get to New York from Montreal is to use highway number 15. But sometimes ambition, or I would go to say even foolishness, would want you to say, listen, I don't want to use another route. Instead, I'm going to build my own path. Can you imagine how many hundreds of workers and tens of thousands of man hours that was required and the resources and the strategy and the engineering that went behind building that road? But now, here comes somebody that says, I I'm going to build my own road and you're going to spend a lifetime trying to do it by yourself. Instead, humility and wisdom will lead you to get to that road that is already built and appreciate that road and be grateful that there is an already existing road and to get there faster than you would have otherwise do trying to build your own road. And that is mentorship. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. 
That means everything that we want to do has already been done. Everything that we, we, we desire to learn through ministry has already been tried by somebody. So we can save time, pain, tears, and toil by finding somebody that has already traveled that path that we desire to travel. And by getting under their covering, getting under their wings, getting under their counsel, direction, whatever you want to call it, that will accelerate your journey and it will get you there faster than you could have achieved by yourself. So if you've tried mentorship, you've already realized that there is not too many manuals out there that help you be an effective mentee and to be an effective mentor yourself to many others that are around you. And sometimes that relationship is more trial and error. And in the process, uh, we miss out on everything that God has in store for. So in the coming episodes, I want to start dealing with different parts of this journey and try to make information available that have taken me years, if not decades, to understand and journey that, that path myself. So I hope that you can appreciate what is going to come to you through these episodes. You can help make this journey more exciting by being part of this in a more personal manner. So don't just watch. Take a minute right now to subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and leave your comments, questions, suggestions, uh, anything that you'd like me to cover in the upcoming episodes. And it will encourage me certainly to deliver more and to bring you information that is going to accelerate your walk in life and with God. Thank you very much. Until I see you again, God bless you.